Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Good morning. Our opening hymn is number 614, Like a Shepherd. <clears throat> Like a shepherd he feeds his flock and gathers the lambs in his arms, holding them carefully close to his heart, leading them home. Say to the cities of Judah, prepare the way of the Lord. Go to the mountain top, lift your voice, Jerusalem, here is your God. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock and gathers the lambs in his arms, holding them carefully close to his heart, leading them home. I myself will shepherd them, for others have led them astray. The lost I will rescue and heal their wounds, and pastor them, giving them rest. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock, gathers the lambs in his arms holding them carefully close to his heart, leading them home. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist this morning, we pause, we ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who governs all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people 
and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Samuel. Samuel said to Saul, Stop, let me tell you what the Lord said to me last night. Saul replied, Speak. Samuel then said, Though little in your own esteem, are you not leader of the tribes of Israel? The Lord anointed you king of Israel and sent you on a mission, saying, Go and put the sinful Amalekites under a ban of destruction. Fight against them until you have exterminated them. Why then have you disobeyed the Lord? You have pounced on the spoil, thus displeasing the Lord. Saul answered Samuel, I did indeed obey the Lord and fulfill the mission on which the Lord sent me. I have brought back Agag, and I have destroyed Amalek under the ban. But from the spoil, the men took sheep and oxen, the best of what had been banned, to sacrifice to the Lord their God in Gilgal. But Samuel said, Does the Lord so delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obedience to the command of the Lord? Obedience is better than sacrifice, and submission than the fat of rams. For a sin like divination is rebellion, and presumption is the crime of idolatry. Because you have rejected the command of the Lord, he too has rejected you as ruler. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the the upright, upright, I will will show show the the saving saving power of of God. God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To To the the upright, upright, I will show the saving saving power of God. God. Why do you restate my statutes? and profess my covenant with your mouth. Though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you, to the upright I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am your, like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To To the the upright, upright, I will show show the saving saving power power of God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflection and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia. May the Lord be in your heart and in your lips that you may worthy and infinity proclaim this holy gospel. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of John and of the Pharisees were accustomed to fast. People came to Jesus and objected. Why do the disciples of John and the disciples of the Pharisees fast? But your disciples do not fast. Jesus answered them, 
Can the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast on that day. No one sews a piece of unshrunken cloth on an old cloth. No, if he does, its fullness pulls away. The new from the old and the tear gets worse. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins, and both the wine and the skins are ruined. Rather, new wine is poured into fresh wineskins. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of the things I sometimes hear from people who did, decided they would read the Bible, doing Lent or whatever, is they're surprised to see how brutal and barbaric uh, the people were in those days. Uh, and they were, and they still are today. Uh, when you went to battle in those days, you exterminated your enemy. You killed everybody, men, women, and children, all the livestock and everything. Uh, it, it was called putting under the ban. What that meant is you, you sacrifice your enemy to God by slaughtering them all. They had to do that for various reasons. If you don't, uh, if you take prisoners, well, you have to guard them. You have to waste your manpower guarding them. You have to feed them. There's always a chance that they can break out and attack and escape and come back to fight you. You kill men, women and children because they can turn against you and the children will grow up and be your enemies. So when you went to battle, it was understood that you basically try to wipe out your enemy completely. And so in today's reading, it's kind of confusing. Um, God has told Samuel to anoint uh, De, um, Saul as the first king and uh, points out that you're king not just over an area here, but over all of Israel. And then uh, Samuel condemns uh, Saul for not carrying out the ban, not killing all the uh, Amalekites. And uh, Saul tries to justify say, himself, saying, well, we did what you commanded, but we, we took some of the best of the livestock and we offered a sacrifice to the Lord. And um, Samuel gives him uh, grief for that because he said, God doesn't want your offering of de dead animals and, and burning them and so on. He wants your obedience. And because you disobeyed and then kill all those animals along with the people, God is displeased with you and you've lost his favor. Um, the very brutal world in which those people lived, and really it's not that much different today. Uh, look at what Israel is, doing, is trying to do to Hamas. And I just saw a brief clip this morning on the news. I seldom watch it, but just a sniff clip. And they estimate that 25,000 uh, Palestinians have been killed in that war. You know, the Hamas troops have circled and circled themselves in the midst of all the population. And so to wipe them out, uh, there are going to be a lot of casualties of innocent people, like something like 25,000. But Israel realized unless we wipe out Hamas completely, they're going to rise again and continue the conflict for centuries to come. Um, a very brutal, a very barbaric world. And while we can sometimes condemn that and wonder why and so on, uh, before we condemn other countries, we ought to take a look at ourselves. In the United States of America, we legally have killed about 60 million of our unborn children. That's an awful lot of innocent people being killed. And how different our world might be today if we hadn't uh, allowed that to happen and all those people had, could have had a chance to grow up and become normal contributing citizens. Um, and many of them could have been a, a great scientists or doctors or just incredible people, but we wiped them out before they even had a chance to uh, cry out outside of the womb. So it's a barbaric world in which we live today, just as it was back then. And we hear of horrible atrocities all the time. Um, obviously, the Lord is not pleased with this. And we have to make sure that we uh, try to live our lives as best we can, being faithful to the gospel and teaching his message of love and peace and forgiveness and try to share that message with others. 
The early Christians start out with a very small grand band, 11 disciples and a few of apostles and a few disciples to follow him. And yet within 300 years, they were able to convert the entire Roman uh, world and make Christianity the religion of the people. Um, even though we're individuals, we can do an awful lot to change the society around us. We try to do that every day, hopefully, and make uh, our, our homes, our family, our community, our church a better place to live, a, a place of love and forgiveness uh, and uh, peace. So we ask the Lord to help us to do our part. Little though it may seem to be, as Mother Teresa said, God doesn't expect me to take care of all the poor people in the world. He just wants me to love them one at a time. And that's what we're called to do too, to try to share the love of Jesus with other people one at a time. But if we do that consistently and every day, we can make a difference. Asking the Lord Jesus to help us to be faithful, let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, your Son Jesus calls, calls us to be his disciples. And in doing so, he's sending us out to proclaim his love to others by what we say and do. Help us to be faithful to that calling. Grant us this, Lord, in the favors we ask in Jesus' name. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Archbishop George Lucas, and for all parishioners throughout the Archdiocese of Omaha, that we may grow in our love of Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for all the innocent victims of the war in Gaza and Israel, and in Russia and in the Ukraine, that peace may soon come to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they may share in Christ's risen glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are traveling on icy and snow-packed highways, that they may reach their destination safely. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have to work outside during these cold winter days, that they may be kept safe from the cold, ice, and snow, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For more vocations to the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sanctity of marriage, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our unspoken needs and intentions, let us now pause and pray to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the members of the Hidden family as they mourn the death of Edward, uh, their husband and father. We pray to the Lord. We offer this Mass today for the living and the deceased of the Rose family. We pray to the Lord. O oh God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have the spread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me of my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, O Lord, we pray, 
that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of the sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right to give you thanks, truly just to give you glory, Father most holy, for you are the one God living and true, existing before all ages and abiding for all eternity, dwelling in unapproachable light. Yet you who alone are good, the source of life, have made all that is, so that those who might seek your creatures with so that you might fill your creatures with every blessing and bring joy to many of them by the glory of your light. And so in the presence of countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night, and gazing upon the glory of your face, glorify you without ceasing. With them we do confess your name in exultation, giving voice to every creature under the heavens as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great, and have fashioned all your works in wisdom and love. You form man in your own image and extend and entrust the whole world to his care so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death, for you came into the mercy to the aid of all, so that those who might seek you might find you. Time and time again you offer them covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you shall love the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time, your Son, your only beloved Son, to be our Savior. Made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. And therefore, Lord, we pray, may the same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself uh, left us, as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved those who were his own in the world, he loved them to the end. While he was at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death, his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have proclaimed for your church, and granting loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice, that gathered into the one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. And therefore, Lord, remember now all those for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you, serve, seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of Christ, and all the dead whose faith is known to you alone. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your apostles and saints in your kingdom. There, with all the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you declare to bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the midst of the, in the unity with the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done. done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
the body of Christ. The blood of Christ. Please join me in making a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you if you're ready there and I myself holy to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 312. Table of Plenty. Come to the feast of heaven and earth, come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that you need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and sit at my table where saints and sinners are friends. I wait to welcome the lost and lonely to share the cup of my love. Come to the feast of heaven and earth, come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and eat without money, come to drink without price. My feast of gladness will feed your spirit with faith and fullness of life. Come to the feast of heaven and earth, come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Let us pray. Pour on us, the Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness, make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray the prayer for the completion of our parish center. Loving Father, we come to you in adoration. May our hearts be open to your guidance on this journey. 
you have bestowed on our church community the gift to openly worship and praise your name. We humbly give thanks for the opportunity to give our gifts and talents. Jesus, pour out your Holy Spirit as we gather in prayer to build a faith-filled prayer center for all generations. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Blessed Mary, 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 pray for us. Saint Isidore, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Final hymn is number 621, Isaiah 49. I will never forget you, my people. I have caught you on the palm of my hand. I will never forget you. I will not leave you orphaned. I will never forget my own. Does a mother forget her baby, or a woman, a child within her womb. Yet even if these forget, even if these forget, I will never forget my own. I will never forget you, my people. I have carved you on the palm of my hand. I will never forget you. I will not leave you orphaned. I will never forget my own. Almighty God bless you. Today's morning mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors.